One school district in the East County is rolling out an updated lesson plan, right? So thousands of kids will soon be back on campus, but this will still be part time. News 8's Allison Royal joining us live in El Cajon to break down the latest plan from Grossmont Union and that message that the superintendent just let families know about. Good morning, Allison. Good morning, Eric Anetta. So that's true. After nearly a year of mostly in or sorry, mostly online instruction with pretty minimal on campus interaction, students at the Grossmont Union High School District will have an opportunity to come back to campus part time. Now, starting the week of March 1st, students at the Grossmont Union High School District may attend in person classes two days per week. This is a blended model, as you mentioned. On campus learning would be capped at 50%. That is 50%. Those other three days per week would be distance learning as they are doing now. Families may opt to continue distance learning only if that is something that they are more comfortable with. In September, the district announced it would allow 25% of students on campus one day per week, so this is an increase. This move comes as there's growing pressure to reopen schools here in California, and as there are hardly any active coronavirus cases in the school district at the time. San Diego County District Attorney Summer Stefan, among others, has been vocal about her support for getting kids back in in-person schools. Grossmont Union High School District Superintendent Teresa Kemper made this announcement on Tuesday. It's also clear that students want to be back on campus learning, growing, and socializing with their friends as much as possible. Because of limited opportunities to do so, many of our precious students are suffering. For all these reasons and more, the time to move forward to more in-person instruction is now. And Superintendent Kemper echoes what a lot of people all over California are saying, you know, enough is enough. It's time to get kids back in in-person learning, but it still might not be an overnight process. For example, LAUSD got the green light to reopen elementary schools, but they're pushing back saying that they want 25,000 teachers and staff members to get vaccinated before they can go ahead with more in-person instruction. So for the latest on schools, you can always head to CBS8.com. Eric Anetta, 